Right, today, another factory tour. Another day, another factory tour. We are at AD. Been invited up to AD for their 20th anniversary. So they've invited a load of us up to have a bit of a tour of the factory. So we'll go in, see what it's all about. Even Carl's here, look, doing a bit. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is well. As you've just seen, this is going to be a little bit of a short video about the day that I spent up at AD, ABHQ, about six weeks ago now. There was a few of us that got invited up for their 20-year anniversary birthday sort of celebrations and basically opened the factory up for a load of us to go in, have a look round, see what's what, make some content on it, put it out and basically just have a great day up with AD. They looked after us brilliantly the whole day and the evening. So shout out to Claire and everyone at the AD team. Amazing day. Uh, yeah, the video is a little video. It shows uh, the process of when they bring the raw materials into the factory, getting it all boxed up. You'll see the filters that we um, fit every day on boilers and heating systems and whatnot to keep them nice and clean. And also, um, which is, I found really interesting was We've got a live demo of corrosion and how adding their inhibitor into systems and their cleanser into systems stops that corrosion. Stop that, easy for me to say, stops that corrosion from happening. You'll see it visually, the numbers dropping on the gauge, on the multimeter. It's quite interesting, really. Uh, yeah, a little walk around the factory. So the chemical side of stuff isn't made on site there. It's made somewhere else. Hopefully, we might get to do that side of it at some point. But it's all in vats. You'll see it getting bottled up and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then at the end, we've got a little bit of a live demo of how the MagnaClean unit actually removes all the magnetite and whatnot out of your system. So, yeah, it's a fairly short video, but I just thought, again, another British company. I get, I'm get i really fortunate I'm getting to go around all these factories. Um, they've got a few coming up as well, um, but this is another great one. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a little bit of a shorter video than what I usually do, but I thought I'd put it out there and let you see just what goes on at ADHQ. Corrosion happens when you have a when you have a electrochemical re reaction between between the surfaces. So when you have two metals that are de 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 similar, so mild steel, and copper, you'll, we we all know that you get you get galvanic corrosion. That is a, that is that's a known thing. So what we have here, so we have a multimeter like you've all seen before. This is a coupon of mild steel, very, very similar to what's easy now. So these are the industry standard coupons that we have to use. So we can place the coupon in the water. So this one is, is actually very important for us. So as you can see, if you put the probes on to the metal surface, you see that, that what we've got there, a voltage. You, you see that? Yeah. That is the corrosion, that's the corrosion potential. So those two dissimilar metals corroded, yeah. uh, created yeah. some kind of current. Yeah, actually. so they're actually now, act, they're actually corroding right now. Wow. So then if we add the MC1 Plus inside. What's that, a DC voltage? Yeah. So you you, you should see, look look how the conductivity is now is falling. So that's actively preventing the corrosion right now. In, inside and that will eventually drop to zero inside well, a, a system. It falls very quickly at first and then slows down, but over time, left inside a system, that will that will eventually drop down to zero. So that is a live demonstration of actually corroding metal that we've now stopped it's corroding right before your eyes. Um, just very quickly introductions, my name is Claire Hancock, I'm Quality and Continual Improvement Manager at AD. I've been with the business four years, so if there's anything quality related or improvement suggestions you might have, send them my way. Um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the factory, it's not a big factory but we've made use of every available space here. So any questions you've got, shout out and I can try and answer them today. Cool. Any technical questions, um, you guys, you've got time with the R&D guys later, so you know, by all means go and ask them. So we're going to start a good zoom, follow me. So, we're going to go for a little bit of a tour around the AD factory, see 
what goes on behind the scenes of those little filters that we all fit under the boilers. Right, so this is um, our goods in and goods out area. All of our raw components, our materials come into AD through these uh, roller shutter doors. The factory is laid out in a kind of a U-shaped cell. So to, in zone one, we call zone one, this rack in here that stores all of our raw materials and components. And that's what feeds our production lines, um, which I'm going to show you in just a second. In the top left hand corner we've got our chemical production. On the right hand side we've got zone three rack in. That's, um, uh, again, raw components for um, our chemicals. And then in zone four, all of our finished goods stock, that's ready to go out the door. So that's all ready for our customers. You'll notice the aisles are very narrow and the racking is very tall. So we have to use um, v &As, so they're called very narrow aisle. And they're a bit like a forklift. Um, what happens is um, they follow what we call a, a wire guide system. So you'll see these um, grooves in the floor. What happens when they want to go and pick stock, the v &As will drive over that wire guide, the system will lock onto that wire guide, and they can only go up and down. They can't go into the racking. So it's a massive safety feature. It's quite impressive when you see them bringing stock down to and from the top shelf. You might get to see that a bit later on. Um, looks like we're changing the battery here and stuff. Um, it's gone flat. Right, we're going to head back that way and I'm going to show you the actual production lines. Jesus. Any of you guys you in school, just put it on any, any filters in hospitals or schools or anything like that? If you, you may see something like this. This is our commercial range. So this will take a lot of debris and magnetite out of the system. Um, yeah, some, some serious, wow. serious sludge pulling from, uh, from these machines. That's a feel of that one. How'd you get that out? I have to pull that up. Oh, cool. uh, yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Then have you got Put that on your 24 <laughs> kilowatt combo. Yeah. The original commercial filter. So there, commercial yeah. units. Right. I'm going to take you on to see the application oh, line. Over here. So, um, I'll show you what we're going to The hamster looking cage in the corner. That is um, where we get all our uh, returns. Um, pleased to say we don't have a very high return rate. It's very, very low for AD. I'm very proud of that as quality manager. Um, but if we did get a return, so you might have a suspect product or there might be missing components, if you send that product back to merchants, they tend to compile them. They, they wait until they've got enough to send us back. And then once or twice a year, we get them shipped back. We do full strip down inspection. We test them on our rig. We try and, to get, we try and understand what that root cause was so we can try and avoid that happening again. Um, so if that, if that cage is busy, then I'm stressed. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's all right, it's empty, I'm glad, you're fine. I'm glad it's empty. We have got um, 10 lines, eight of which you can see here. Now all our lines are modular based, so you can do uh, one, two, three or four of the same types of products per line. So you can see line one today, Lloyd's team um, is running our Atom product. Um, all of our lines um, have what we call a leak test um, machine that um, tests the product to make sure that everything is in there. So all the seals are in there, all the drain plug, the air vent has been torqued correctly. Um, the valves are in there. So that happens on every, every product is, is tested in that way. And that gives us assurances that when a product goes out the door, it is to, to specification. They so manually, each one's manually tested then? So, no, it's so not manually, so they basically put them in the test rig. Ah, oh, right, got you. Automatically the air, the air shoots into the product. Yeah. What it has to do is stabilise, so it right. has to hold that air for a certain amount of time. Once it does that, if there's no leaks, it passes. Got you. So it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a dry test. Yeah. And then what happens, we have scales on the end of the line to make sure that the valves have been put in, the leaflets are in there, yeah. any other accessories that should be in that pack are in there. And that, that's the, it's those checks and balances that make AD what we are, yeah. that we're confident that when our product goes out the door, it's, it's as it should be. So, so I'll, I'll keep talking. We've got two mixing tanks. The one on the right hand side does all the mixing and blending, so we pour the raw materials into that one. Then what we have to do, we have to cool that before it's bottled, otherwise you know what plastic does, it, it, will, um, it will shrink. So it then um, it gets decanted into the second tank, that cools it. Through clever piping system, it goes into this um, hopper here. We've done eight cylinders, which fill each 500 ml bottle with chemicals. They then go around to the capping machine. The machine here puts on a, um, a bottle cap. It goes under the leak sealer. And then the last um, operation is the label, and it squeezes the label onto the bottles. That's where you get the front and back label. 
when it's running, you get one bottle every two seconds. So it's pretty impressive. The guys are running around. Right? Fresh pop up the lids. Yeah. That, that basically sucks up all the lids yeah. and puts them into the hopper ready for the for the talking to. Yeah. Point work on that. So we spent the day with the team at AD. I'll just take you through a little bit of what we've seen. Took you through the factory tour. I showed you a little bit of the chemical side of things. These are, they've got a whole wall here of the AD products that they use. Obviously the filters that we're all putting on boilers. They spoke to us about the biocide stuff for the underfloor heating. And it's things like this little rig. This little rig is perfect. So you go to a system, you've got your pump running, you've got your, magnetite running around your system and you've got your little filter there perfect demo and it's just simple it just shows exactly what the magnet clean filters are about just drop the magnet in and within a couple of passes through took it all out completely saving all that magnetite going through your pump because obviously on the outside of a pump you've got your magnets running so the magnets aren't there the filters not there the magnets within the pump are just going to attract all that magnetite into there so this is the very first demo pot that Chris, the guy that invented the Magna Clean, did it with. He just had this in his shed, bottom of his garden, popped a magnet in the top, took that heat, took that water out of the heating system, popped a magnet in it. And as you'll see shortly, there you go, you can see it attracting to that magnet. And that's when he thought, you know what, there's some legs in this, let's get these onto heating systems, let's get the magnetite out of it. And after that, 20 years later. And that's why they've invited us up for the day to have a bit of a tour around. They've looked after us, they've been absolutely brilliant. Do us a massive shout out to AD for inviting us along. It's been myself, people on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. So, hope you've enjoyed that little look around AD.